I forgot. Alexa, what 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 is a graph? A few minutes ago you said a boring thing. Um, picture of all answers. Picture of all the answers, that's true. And a minute ago you said you didn't remember you never understood why we shaded, and so now I'm curious if Edgar knows why we shade with these. Yeah, why? Okay. So, yeah, but why do we shade? Like, like you're right. If it said this, if it said, well, that's supposed to be a three. <laughs> if it said, if it said y equals two thirds x instead of this, we wouldn't shade this at all. You're right. This would just be a line, like, like something like that. So, Edgar, why do we shade? You're right. It has to do. It, it has to do with that, but the line under the symbol. Well, that the line under the symbol means that it's a solid line, and, and no line means it's yeah, dotted. Yeah, that's a solid line. But even then, that doesn't tell me why we shade. And the reason I want to know is because if you don't know, then you're going to forget. Like you're going to forget all of it. Mm -hmm. But if you know, then you'd be like, oh, that makes sense. So it's a greater than or equal to. Would yeah. Why does that mean we shade? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, because like that this one, a, what, mira, mira, this one, this one, so this first one right here, the y-intercept is zero, right? And it's going to be up two, so you're going to go up two and then over one, two, three. So up two and over three is going to be right there. Uh -huh. And it's not going to be, it's going to be a solid line, right? Yeah. It's going to be like this. But that's not the answer. We have to shade. Why do we have to shade? I'd even tell you that, that we have to shade above. Why? Why do we shade above for this greater one? Than. But that's not why, because we just did one a minute ago where it was greater than we shaded underneath. It depends where it's, where it's going, like where the slope is going. Oh. Mm, but why, though? Why? Why do we shade? Let's go back. Let's go back uh, two minutes ago. Ready? We're gonna go back in time two minutes. Hey Alexa, a minute ago you said a graph was a boring thing. No, I said the graph was a picture. Let's go back two minutes. But Alexa, what is a graph? A picture of all the answers. A picture of all the answers. Yeah. So, uh, Edgar, why do we shade? <laughs> the shading is part of the answers. That's like, it? That's, that's your answer because shading is part of the answer? Yeah, yeah. Like, you're, like everything shaded over here, like this random point will be an answer to that inequality. Well, that's what I said like five minutes ago. I, oh, I know you did. Oh. I know you did, but, but and, and I know you knew. Um, so it's not because it's, it has an equal to sign? Well, it's kind of a consequence of that, but the shading itself is a picture. Like a graph is a picture of all the answers, so every single point, all of these points, like are all answers. The answer is the whole slope and the and the graphing. Ah. <laughs> well, that's well, ah. <laughs> well, that's how you get your answer. You use the slope and all that, right? But but the graph is a picture of all the answers, and so, like like for this one, I know it's shaded above because if I were to pick something like this, like let's say that's. 0 and negative 7 for a y-intercept right there, right? If I plug that in, negative 7 greater than or equal to 2 thirds times 0. So is negative 7 greater than or equal to 0? No. 0 is bigger than 7, negative 7. So like this is not an answer, and that's why it's not shaded. But if I pick to this point, like right here, like let's say that was negative 2, 1. So if I plugged in negative 2, 1 into this inequality, I'm going to pick negative 3 because then it's going to reduce. Right? Then that makes 1 is greater than or equal to negative 2, and that's true. So all of these points that are like underneath the shading are all answers. And when you're graphing, you're drawing a picture of all the answers. It doesn't matter how you get your graph. And I think actually that's where your disconnect is. It doesn't matter how you get your graph. It doesn't matter. But your graph has to be a picture of all the answers. So if your graph is a picture of all the answers, you're good. And Alexa hates this one.
Mr. Flowers, did you get this one? Number two? Actually, um, watch, check this out. Let's back the truck up a little bit. Let's do y equals 5. Let's, let's graph y equals 5. Let's graph y equals 5 on this line right here. So, oh, sorry. So y equals 5, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. That would be y equals 5 right there, right? And yeah, so 0, 5. Let's say that's 3, 5. Remember, y equals a number is going to be horizontal. Yeah. And it's going to have a slope of 0. But x equals a number like negative 1. It's going to be in the x it's going to be It's going to be vertical. And it's going to have a slope that's undefined. It's not going to have a slope. So this is actually the y-axis. But... Um, well, hold on, hold on. It's going to be a dotted line, right? And it says it's less than. X is smaller than 0. So, like, here X is equal to 1, and here X is equal to 5. Here X is negative 1, and here X is negative 5. X has to be smaller than 0, which is right there. So it's this way. So it's, it's all that way. Alexa, now that you see it, what... What was uh, what about that that you have gotten? What? Now that you see how to do this problem right here, what about the solution? Like, didn't you get, or did you just see it and go, I don't know how to do that, and you never tried it? So you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Hmm. But then when you saw how we did it, did you really know how to do that? Right, because I think you guys could, like, I think you know how to do this. We did these before. X equals zero. So it's no different, except the inequality kind of changes a little, a little bit of what you do. Okay.